Good morning or good afternoon. It's like 12.06, so it's not really morning anymore. But what is up, good people? So I wanted to do this vlog a little bit differently, and I wanted to kind of tie in tutorial and vlog at the same time. So that's why you guys are getting more of like this vlog style video on how to design a t-shirt from start to finish. This has been my most asked question under my comments, and I've been trying to figure out is it something that I'm missing? Is it something that I am not, I'm doing, which is the same thing as what I'm missing, I guess. But ultimately y'all, like, I just feel like, how come I haven't made this video where people are really understanding what I'm trying to show them? Today's vlog, y'all, I'm really about to put y'all on game on how to actually make a t-shirt, design it, okay? Cut out the vinyl, weed the vinyl, and then show you the finished product as well. So I hope that when you guys see this, you know that you learned something from it, okay? So let me go ahead and switch the view. Okay, so I'm about to be all up in your business and let you know that you are overcomplicating your t-shirt designs. What you guys have to realize is that you have to think about what others are selling that's working. And oftentimes, y'all, I know I made a video about this kind of ranting a little bit, but oftentimes, simple sales. Let me show you what I mean by that. All right, so you see how literally, this is an actual mantra that I'm about to sell. Okay, thought it was perfect. It's simple, straight to the point. So as you can see here, I'm in Adobe Illustrator. I am not in Silhouette America for this particular tutorial. So just to show you guys, if it focuses, I'm in Adobe Illustrator, okay? So you can use this. Um, or you can use Silhouette Cameo. Either way, you can achieve the same design. Okay, so you guys saw I was in Adobe Illustrator, and you see how simple this is? When it comes to typography, y'all, this is gonna be something that I, I don't know how I can teach this per se. I just want you to understand the concept of how a simple sells. Simple meaning you don't have any like embellishments, you don't have any cursive, you ain't got nothing behind the font. You know, this is what I mean by simple. It's just a one-dimensional flat lay type of design and when it comes to t-shirt designing sorry my heat press is letting me know that it's ready but so when it comes to being simple y'all you just have to really just like this is it I don't I don't know how how I can really get this clearer but enough said let me just really much show you how I just did this if this is what you guys are coming to you know look for with this video on the flip side if you are looking for a video that's going to teach you how to put pictures and text on a t-shirt that's gonna be separate okay I'm gonna come out with another video teaching y'all all about that but in today's vlog I really just want to just break down the basics of how you actually design and press and do all that for a t-shirt so I'm just gonna open up a new document in Adobe there's lots and lots of videos on Adobe Illustrator you guys so if you guys are wanting to use it I highly recommend you do it gives you a lot more you know creativity when it comes to making things okay but let me just show you what I'm doing so I'm pretty much just starting with the text and I'm gonna type in black okay boom and then I'm just gonna resize it I think I had a colon hold on one second boom and I'm just resizing it okay you can resize it to whatever dimensions you want which is pretty cool super flexible and I'm just gonna copy this because a lot of times I like to do little shortcuts y'all and not just do the same thing over and over so I, I do a lot of shortcuts when it comes to designing because you get to move faster so I say all day every day which is actually pretty funny because I say that all the time anyway so I can't believe I'm just not making this a shirt because this is definitely something that I should have made a long time ago. Anyway, so here is all day, er day, okay? And then I even put a signature stamp, okay? Which is a black mantra. So let me just show y'all that. I don't know if you guys can really see how I'm putting the signature on here because it's super small. But I'm gonna show you here in just a second. You'll see it, of course, on the t-shirt. So that's it, you guys. Now... When it comes to, again, sizing your fonts, that's your creative control. That's what you do when it comes to making everything. But I mean, this is like, this is it, you guys. This is, this is all that people do when they're designing a t-shirt. And this is the most 
beginner friendly, easy, and super quick and efficient to make t-shirt designs, okay? So, now that I've showed you guys exactly pretty much how I design it, now let's go ahead and make this shirt so you guys can really put it all together. Y'all, I've been really getting into a lot of DIY iced coffee recipes. Mm. They just get my soul right every time. But real quick, before I move on to making this t-shirt, I just wanted to really lay out some things that I want you guys to take from this vlog. Like, when it comes to t-shirt designing, you guys, a lot of times I think we fall into this hole, I guess I should say a hole, of not thinking our designs are good enough and things like that. And honestly, again, you're overthinking it because what you have to realize is that if you're liking something and you laugh at something, nine times out of 10, someone else will too. We as humans, we share the same feelings when it comes to certain topics, okay? That's why people connect, that's why people are in communities and things like that. So you gotta think about that when it comes to designing your t-shirt and I mean, <sighs> You guys, I don't know what else to tell you, but I'm telling you, I think you're overthinking it. And I hope that this vlog helps you like debunk that and know that again, honey, simple, simple sales. <sighs> simple sales, and we want the sales. Thank me later. Okay, so boom, cameo, heat press, vinyl, and I have my t-shirt in front of me. Y'all, oh, <laughs> I forgot my laptop. And that ain't gonna work if you ain't got your laptop. Sorry you guys for the light. It's raining where I am today. So I'm sorry if the light was a little. Okay. Laptop, silhouette, heat press, vinyl, and of course your t-shirts is what you need when it comes to designing. Especially when it comes to the heat press industry, like you only need a few essentials and you're good to go, okay? Let's get into it. All right, you guys, so I am sorry if you can't see what I'm doing. The lighting here is super weird. I'm just, <laughs> uh, the struggle you guys are trying to get all the angles for, for the video is real, but okay. Let me just show you what I'm doing here. What's up, y'all? Excuse the crustiness, but I just realized how I forgot to tell you that when it comes to how you take a design from Adobe Illustrator into Silhouette Cameo or your Silhouette Studio, all you have to do is export it as a PNG file. So sorry I missed that important piece on how I got it from one software platform to another, but just wanted to let you guys know that. So if you're ever using Adobe and your Silhouette Studio, just save your design, export it as a PNG file, and then you upload it into your Silhouette Studio. Let's get back to it. Okay, so I'm in my Silhouette Cameo. Okay, you guys can see here is the design. But what we gotta do before I send it to the actual Cameo and put it on the cutting mat, what I need to do is flip this design, okay? So, I'm going to just flip it horizontally. And the reason why is because I'm going to just show you here better than I can tell you. But basically, you want to always make sure that if you're using a silhouette cameo, you got to mirror or flip your design, okay? That's totally important. Or what's going to happen is, like for example, if your design, and I'm sorry it's still not showing well for y'all. But basically, if your design is reading left to right on the studio, it's going to be backwards on your shirt. So you got to actually flip it in the studio so that way it reads the correct way on the actual t-shirt. All right, so let me go ahead and send this to the cameo and let me see my settings I actually have some custom settings that I made let me see what is this one I have to like sometimes reset everything just because I don't use this as often as I did so I always have to like wake up my cameo hold on y'all because this is tripping it's talking about it's unavailable and my cameo is like literally on so one second okay y'all so sorry about that but I have my vinyl. I'm just using Caesar Easy Weed. You can purchase vinyl at Heat Transfer Warehouse. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description box. So make sure y'all check that out if you want to cop your own. So this is Caesar Easy Weed in white. So I'm going to put this on my <laughs> cutting mat. Listen, y'all. This is what happens when you don't really clean off your cutting mat. It can look real crusty. And I mean, this isn't how it's supposed to look. What actually happens when it looks like this is that the vinyl doesn't stick as much. So you want to make sure you either replace your cutting mat or learn how to clean it. Um, you know, if you want to just save some money. But I'm just going to use it just because it's all I got. And I, since I don't really or actually fulfill at all in my home, anymore i just haven't felt the need to replace it to be honest so i literally just use my cutting mat for like tutorials and 
I just keep it moving. But eventually, I probably replace it. Okay, boom. The vinyl is on the cutting mat. So then, cameo. Let me scoot the computer over so y'all can see what's about to go down. Okay, loading in the cameo. You guys see? Now, I'm so glad I caught this. I actually made something like a couple weeks ago and I moved my rollers here. So you guys see, this is not, this should be all the way over there. So what I'm gonna do is un unlock it and that's just unlifting that, okay? Or lifting that and moving these rollers so where it actually holds the cutting mat in place. What would have happened if I didn't move that to where it's just 12 by 12 or it's like in the right setting? My cutting mat could have shifted and my design would have just been messed up. So you wanna make sure that you have everything let me lock it so it's in place perfect so now when it cuts my cutting mat is gonna stay in this position that y'all see right now so now I'm about to send this first design to the cameo and let's watch it work alright y'all so I'm editing right and I completely forgot to mention that Basically, if you're new here, you don't know like what's going on with the um, the cameo. I just press send in my studio, and that's how I got it to cut. So so sorry I didn't show y'all that in this vlog. Let's weed, weeding, weeding. Oh, that's not the one I want to show y'all. Hold on. Where is the weeding tool? <clears throat> Okay, y'all see that? Looks like a little shepherd hook, I should say, if y'all can see that. But this is the weeding tool. So now, I'm about to weed the design that I just cut, right? Y'all can see. Now, there's videos on how to weed vinyl properly, y'all. It's totally up to you. If you want, look at those. I say the best thing you can do is always find your own groove and just, of course, figure it out on your own. Um, but there is, I guess, a little bit of a trick. I'm just cutting off the excess, y'all. You guys can't see because it's really faint, but I can see the design. And so so because I can see it, I'm cutting off the excess vinyl because when I weed this, it's just going to be easier because I've already cut off the excess. Grab your shirt. In this case, I'm using black, and I still have some Gildan Soft Style shirts, you guys, so that's what I just use for like my tutorials, or you know, if I wanna go ahead and make me something that I think would be a good seller, just so I can see how I feel about it. So I'm just gonna use my lint roller, cause I just get off all the excess lint that's just, you know, just on the shirt naturally or whatever. You just don't want that kind of like wedged in between any vinyl designs. All right, so here is the design that I made in Adobe Illustrator. And hold on, I forgot one thing. Got my ruler. That way I know it's symmetrical. Before I press it down, y'all, just make sure that I am checking it thoroughly. I don't want no crooked shirt. I don't want no crooked designs on my shirt. And I'm just always like checking it like four, five, six, seven, eight times. As many times as I feel like I need to to make sure that this is, you know, even. Okay, so looking at it again. Making sure it looks good. Comment in this video, y'all. Let me know if this looks good to y'all, okay? Cause listen, I'm feeling it and I'm excited about it. So I think it's gonna be a really good seller for me and my store. Cool, we got that. Now it's time to press it. Um, This right here, a lot of you might ask, do I use a Teflon sheet? In this particular case, no, I don't. Um, But I, I have used it in the past and I actually have it right here. So no, I don't use it. Um, Is it needed every single time? It is not, Um, but you know, that's where your discretion comes in okay so you do what you want with your teflon sheet but all right i'm checking it again y'all for like again like the eighth time i just i'm a stickler for this and it's okay if you are a stickler you got to make sure it look good so let me go ahead and press it okay hold on you guys because my my press isn't counting down what is going on here okay all right y'all sorry about that i had like a small fluke with my heat press and i i didn't have the timer set right so i had to fix that because that was a hot mess so i'm just peeling off the divino Ooh, y'all look at that uh, come on y'all come on come on uh magic all right y'all so so sorry i had to switch cameras but let me show y'all what the shirt looks like Actually, I'm very proud of myself. But, okay, y'all see? One dimensional. Easy peasy. Boom, bam, bop. 
okay so this is how it came out and i cannot wait to sell this <clears throat> okay so shameless plug time this is for y'all who have pretty much converted from fulfilling in your house or wherever you live to going to print on demand this is where it's going to get super convenient when it comes to mock-ups models promoting your shirt period so you guys know if you are not new here that i used to fulfill right there in that room and then now i switch to print on demand but what that allowed me to do is that when i make these really simplistic one-dimensional t-shirt designs from my store even though yes printify has a mock-up generator which i love and it makes it super easy to of course like put your designs on your shirt but what it doesn't do is give you maybe like the model that you're looking for or you really want to promote it while someone's wearing it right and so the shameless plug is that when you convert from fulfilling in your house to going to print on demand keep all of your supplies do not be so quick to sell anything you guys please don't because what that allows you to do is pretty much market your shirts right away like after this vlog is over i'm taking pictures like I, i'm not sitting on this i just wanted to share that with you so that way you know like okay Okay, I'm gonna make my shirt. I already designed it in Canva or Adobe Illustrator, and then boom, I'm gonna be my own mock up model and promote this shirt like within the next couple of hours, if not like immediately afterwards. Okay, make sure you keep this in mind and thank me later when you're converting from fulfillment in your house keep an inventory in your house to print on demand okay y'all so that's gonna wrap up the vlog but i really hope you guys understood what i wanted to teach you and also again don't forget that shameless plug that i dropped because it's gonna make it so convenient for you when you want to make your mock-ups and be your own model and promote your own merch as you should. So I wouldn't be a businesswoman if I didn't actually promote this shirt that I'm actually wearing that you guys saw me make in today's video. By the time y'all see this vlog, it would have been dropped on my website already. As a matter of fact, I'm turning it live like literally once I'm done. So if you want to cop your own black all day, er day t-shirt from Black Mantras, then make sure you go ahead and click the link to my website in the description box below but before you do that I'm trying to figure out why you're not signed up to my email list because you're going to be able to find out when I drop more dope t-shirts for my brand in that list so I mean we might as well continue this relationship at this point because now you're gonna know where to find all the shirts from Black Mantra so make sure you guys sign up and shop enjoy 15% off on me all right y'all so i'm ending the vlog here i got more shirts to make and more work to do but as always don't forget to drink your water mind your business and always choose yourself first and i'll catch you in my next video